So today we will read Shri Shri Vilapa Kusumanjali, verse 54. O Devi, Goddess, while you are absorbed in an intimate, joking discussion with your girlfriends, headed by Lalita, I will make a beautiful play bed for you with my own hand. When will you decorate that bed by dreaming on it? O oh, Devi, Goddess, while you are absorbed in an intimate, joking discussion with your girlfriends, headed by Lalita, I will make a beautiful play bed for you with my own hand. When will you decorate that bed by dreaming on it? Clear visions, dreams, or smarana are the life support for the practitioners of King Karibhava. And if this does not take place, they will become attracted to the material world. Rade, I already hear the reaction of Jayananda Maharaj <laughs> and Tarunji is also knocking the head. <laughs> so we should stop here and please enlighten us because it's so clearly said what will happen if someone is deeply diving in bhajan what will which kind of result will be and without this deep bhajan actually person devotee is so much exposed to material world so we should understand that Conditioned soul is very fragile. The winds, storms of Maya can just push him in so many di directions. And that only support is to be fixed in Staiba meditate on different lilas, begging for the mercy that we can dive deeper and deeper and deeper. Because on the surface of the ocean, there are so many waves. And it's very dangerous to be when the storm is. But if the person is diving deep inside the ocean, then there is a peace, certain peace is there. There is also water currents under the sea. But these kind of currents can be very blissful for devotee to bring him to desired goal. And we can see here from these words how Raghunath personally is diving in the ocean of King Kariba, ocean of Yugala Kishore Rasa, Shringar Rasa, 
And with his words, he's trying to help us, aspirants, neophytes, sadakas, simple jivas, to also little bit dive in that ocean. So from verse to from verse to verse, it's like waves. Each verse is a way of the same mood. Because Raghunath, especially here in Vilapa Kusumanjali, is deeply absorbed in Kinkari Bhava. And he's helping us also to be focused in Kinkari Bhava and follow the stream. This is the honey stream. Honey stream. In which he is swimming, diving, and flowing. So, immediately from the words we can see, O oh Devi, while you are absorbed in the intimate joking pastimes, please Radhika, be absorbed, be intoxicated with your pastimes, and I will serve you. Just do whatever you like, make a fun, make a jokes, make a love, but I will help you to do that, and you just be relaxed and do whatever you want. I, you help me, Manjari is thinking, I know your heart, you help me, you infuse your feelings in me, so I am qualified to serve you. This is eternal position of Manjari. But for Sadaka, we need association of those persons who are already deeply absorbed and diving naturally. They are naturally diving. They don't have to force them to dive in this bhava, in this rasa. So Raghunath, I say, while you are absorbed, I will make... I will serve and make a beautiful bed for you. Because after that jokes with your girlfriends, you will need rest. So this is the meditation of Raghunadas Goswami when he is seeing himself like Tulsi Manjari in Swarupesh. And he is so close with Shimati Radharani. And Baba is very nicely saying, and if this kind of smarana, dreams, visions, are not present at least a little bit in the mind and heart of devotee, then automatically he will be attracted to material world. Yesterday in, in our creation uh, local Zoom Sangha, Actually, Labangalatika, mother of Rasamai, she was reading to us one very nice verse from Rupa Goswami, who said, I, I wrote it, so I will try to repeat this. And it's a very close connection with these Baba's words also. Maybe, I don't know from where is it, maybe someone can help us, but deep meditation makes heart mature and brings revelations which are life support or saving the life of devotee who is in Manjari Bhav mode. Deep meditation Oh. Makes heart mature. Wow, Guru Dev. Jai. 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 Guru Dev. Wow. 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 Miracles are possible. Miracles are possible. <laughs> Merry Christmas. Amazing. <laughs> Amazing. <laughs>
Jai Gurudev, Merry Christmas. I have to meet my Govinda Priya. Wow. Merry Christmas. Merry wow. Christmas, Gurudev. Wow. Jai Gurudev. Yeah. yeah. This is impossible. Agatana Gatana. <laughs> oh my God. This is terrible. Christmas present. <laughs> Christmas present, Gurudev. Thank you very much for your appearance. Although yeah. you are all the time with us, but it's so nice to hear you yeah. and see you. Thank you. Thank you very much for this present. Radhe Radhe. Yeah. Yeah. So this is this is uh, you know our meditation the, the result you know yes collective strong meditation yes how is my last my she forget no She's I am crying when I see you Guru there <laughs> of happiness I'm missing you I'm missing, missing you so much Merry to everyone Merry <laughs> open <laughs> My <laughs> Merry Christmas, Gurudev. Yeah. Yeah. Gurudev, there are sixty. Wow. 60. My God, sixty. At least sixty. My Udhav is not here. Yeah, Udhav is so much there. Yeah. It's so far, Udhav. Come in. <laughs> Come down. He's <laughs> <laughs> in his room. Wow. I'm on my way. Yeah, yeah, please. I cannot live without you. Yes. <laughs> Go on. Chavan. Chavan, huh? ah, Chavan. Wow. Thank you. Ah. Thank you. Chavan, thank you. Very happy. Chavan. I'm proud of you. <laughs> Oh, Merry Christmas to everyone. Wow. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Go on. Say sorry for disturbance. So I want to listen to you. Please. Why can I repeat so everything nice. from the beginning? So many devotees. My don't work to all. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so this is Sri Vilapa Kusumanjali, verse 54. Oh Devi, Goddess. Oh Devi. Oh, my dear, only I want to think for you and see you. But, Baba, right. One word you meditate, done. Oh, my Devi. Oh, my Swami. Without you, everything is nothing, zero. Oh, Devi, Goddess, while you are absorbed in an intimate, joking discussion with your girlfriends, headed by Lalita, I will make a beautiful play bed for you with my own hands. <laughs> when will you... When will you decorate that pet by dreaming on it? Radhe, Radhe. 
here here we can we can see by the grace of Baba and Raghunathas Goswami and the Mahajans how special, how really, really special the Mancharis are because nobody else except for them can make a bed, a love bed. Not this word alone, like Gurudev just said so wonderfully, these words, every word is very, very special. So this love bed, who can make? Who can make a love bed for Radhika and Krishna? Not Lalita and not Vishaka. Only the Manjaris can do such a wonderful and beautiful seva. So uh, to make a love bed, you have to be Kinkar. You have to be a Manjari. Nobody else can make this for the divine couple. This is the speciality and the glories of the Manjaris. This is so wonderful. Just one word. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. When this realization will come to me, Baba, bless me. Yeah. Yeah. Clear visions, dreams, or smarana are the life support for the practitioners of Kinkari Bhav. Yeah. Again. Clear visions, dreams, or smarana are the life support for the practitioners of Kinkari Bhav. And if this does not take place, they will become attracted to the material world. Yeah. Until now, a person like me has not become acquainted with his Ishtadev. My mind is still absorbed in so many paltry things. I cannot put aside even a penny for the Lord. But for one penny, I can give up the Lord. We must make advancement by making the word world alien to us and taking the Lord into the heart. The Lord is so thirsty for devotion that as soon as he smells any, he comes running to drink it. Yeah. Rati, Rati, can I say something or is it too preposterous? I think I think that every one of us who is sitting here, except our beloved Gurudev and the advanced Vaishnavas, we can realize that the more we go into Bhajan, and the more deep we go into Bhajan, the less attracted we are to the material world. So I can speak only for myself that if I don't do Bhajan attentively and nicely and deeply, my mind is not fixed on Swamini's lotus feet. My mind is not where it should be. So the challenge and the task is to every day do sadhana. We are sadhana, manjari bhav sadhakas doing sadhana. So diksha mantras, puja, japa of the Hare Krishna Mahamanda, we should, I, I'm speaking to my mind, this we should do with utmost concentration and with fixation on the lotus feet of our Ishtadev, Swamini and, and Gurudev. And the more, it's a practical formula. 
the more we do this and the more deep we do this, the less problems we have with our mind. And the less we do this, the more problems we will have with the mind. So these hours in the morning time, we are lucky now we have these Christmas holidays. So this time in the morning is the most precious time. And I can say if I don't use this precious time in the morning, my mind is not able to be fixed. So this is what is our, our task, that we, we do this sadhana bhakti very attentively and very consciously and try as much as possible to, to put these leelas when we le read, when we do smarana, we read purports and we chant the maha mantra, the more we put into our mind, the better we can go through the whole day. The soul is by nature the abode of causeless love of God, and the Lord is the self of selves, the soul of souls. How dear he is to us. Lord Brahma prays to Krishna in the Bhagavad. O oh Krishna, as long as the people do not turn to you, their attachments will act like thieves on them. Their houses will remain prisons for them and their illusion will remain their shackles. The Vaishnava Tosani comments as follows on this verse. <coughs> you are the natural abode of everyone's causeless love because you are the self of selves. Therefore, you are the best shelter for everyone's love. It is natural to love one's beloved object or person. <coughs> when the living entities don't get attached to you as their master, their attachments will act like thieves and steal the paraphernalia of their worship from them. And the greed and delusion will follow. The practicing devotees should lament. Alas, such a wonderful thing I have forgotten. To become mad after temporary bodily affairs. Radhe, Radhe. Radhe. So uh, I would just like to say, like to continue what Tarunji is starting. So we can see here that two types of attachments are present. Spiritual attachments and materialistic attachments. So, when the soul is embodied with material body and completely identify with this body, then this materialistic raga, materialistic attachment appears very naturally, without any endeavor. From the moment when we are born, we are becoming attached for our parents, surroundings, our body, we are learning how to become more and more and more attachment for the body, for I and mine. 
from the moment when we are born. Parents are teaching us actually how to be attached so that we can function in this material world. So soul has to have some clothes. It cannot loitering around without cloth, material cloth or spiritual cloth. And when this soul, which is conditioned, meet sadhu, liberated person who is not under the influence of materialistic attachments, then her, his journey is starting to come ultimately who's towards his normal position. And normal position is to receive spiritual cloth, spiritual identity. Because in that situation, in that condition, spiritual attachments will start to grow and grow and grow. And the heart will become more mature, mature. And what will happen, like Baba and Taruji said, materialistic attachments slowly will vanish. This is the way, spiritual way, and this is only natural way. Because it, Baba is saying, just a few tenses is before, because this is the normal position of the soul, because the Lord is the soul of the soul. And this is the basic understanding which Baba is giving to us. We should understand that we first we are soul, and belong to the super soul. Then question is arising, okay, I am soul, but this is the rudimentary information. Who am I? How I look? What is my nature? What, what is my position? What is my age? What is my, the color of my body? and so on. Where is my address of living? So when this question starting to appear in the heart of the devotee who accepted that he is the soul and there is a super soul, then divine arrangements starts to work to help such candidate to develop his consciousness and finally attain his real, natural, normal position. Also, also here, if I may, also here, Baba was saying in the purport that we should, the living entity should take shelter of the cause of all love of Krishna. So actually, Baba is telling us that we should go one step further. We should not only take shelter at the lotus feet of the Lord, who is the cause of all causes and the cause of all love. But we should take shelter at the one who Krishna takes shelter from. So we should go to the lotus feet of Swamini because the Lord himself, Krishna, he is taking shelter at the lotus feet of Swamini. So this is the, the mercy of the Rasika saints like Gurudev and Baba and the Marchands that we know what it means to take shelter of Krishna actually means to take shelter at the lotus feet of Swamini, because he himself takes shelter at the lotus feet of Swamini. Jai Ho! Radhe Radhe Tarumba. Yes, this is the final. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and this is the only way. Who can take the shelter of the Lord without love? No one. This is not possible. Mission impossible. <laughs> Yeah. So, but when the person received the mercy of 
personification, embodiment of love, Shirada, then he really can say, and he really can take the shelter, like you said, Tarunji, even of Krishna, because Krishna is taking the shelter of his own love. Yeah. So, they are just, thank you, Tarunji. Sri Raghunadas is the embodiment of love in separation. He has no body in this world but Swamini. O oh, merciful Radhe, yeah. I am drowning, I am drowning in an ocean of misery. Please show yourself just once and thus delight my eyes. The practicing devotee should also have some of this eagerness. Oh, Swamini, I will not mix with this world. I will become as Swamini wants me to be. Then she will accept me. Rade, please read this last sentence one more time. I will become as Swamini wants me to be, then she will accept me. This is clear. And Baba is very expertly, is talking at the beginning of the commentary, how to prepare ourselves, how to prepare consciousness, and from which angle, from which position, to listen, the Leela, which is coming now. And who is, he is doing practically in almost all purpose. He is trying to help the sadhakas to overcome their bodily consciousness, to give them a mercy. Raghunath is doing the same thing. And to prepare ourselves for bhajan, like Tarunji said, for deep bhajan, which is essential part of not only sadhana, of the life of devotee. Here also, Baba, here also we have to prove and exactly the evidence of Siddha Pranali, because Baba is saying, Radhika wants me, I have to be like Radhika wants me to be. So, as a German devotee, I cannot know how Swamini wants me to be. So what is my duty? My duty is go to Gurudev, and Gurudev is giving you the information of your Swarup. So here, this is very important. How can we know how Swamini wants me to be? Only by the mercy of Gurudev. This is Guru Kripa, in my humble opinion. Gurudev, what are you saying? Right. Then we get the my spiritual constitutional position, my saru, then we want uh, one greed comes. Just now she read, I want to see you direct. This is my desire to see you direct. Second greed come, if I cannot see you direct, I want to see you in dreams, but dreams come, what we think whole day, what yes. we do whole day, mm -hmm. that we dream. Mm. So I want to see in dreams, means I want to 24-7 
busy in one pointedness to be dreamed that. We have to come out from Pajarpa, Prajarpa, useless talk and other things. We have to see ourselves and try to be always to be engaged our mind and body in the service of our Swami. Then I will dream normally what I do that I dream. And third thing, three things were there. I want to see you face to face. I want to dream you. And third. Smile on Gurudev. Huh? Smaran. Smaran. I think Gurudev. So at first, you know, final stage of Shakshat Darshan. The next stage is a kind of next stage is a kind of visibility. Like a sufrity is more clear vision, visibility. And if we could not do this, then please some dream or some kind of uh, dream or some smaran or kind of uh, at first uh, Baba say one place at first uh, we do some smarana then smarana become deep then dhyana meditation then meditation become deep then spirit is coming some visions spiritual vision is coming then spiritual vision is more clear vision is be spirit and then more deep than Shakshat Darshan. So Gurudev is saying, so we want to be Shakshat Darshan. But if we could not, we want to be your vision or a clear vision. If we could not do this, please help me some vision or even dream or something. Please appear in my, in my heart. And uh, so we are reading in Shikshashtakan by Baba, Anandas Baj Maharaj. Then we found out one here mentioned eagerness. And uh, Baba mentioned how to get some mercy. And then Baba said, to get mercy, we need eagerness, strong eagerness, strong desire strong greed, then they find out, then Swamini give us some mercy, or Gurudev give us some mercy. So Nara Maharaj also say same thing. If we want to enter Raganuga Bhakti, only one thing, we, at least we need, is strong greed. So this is Gurudev, I think, want to say. And I try to... Uh, and you are right, because this is the steps. But here Baba is telling, I need to see you direct. You see, he is telling from uh, Samadhi. Wow. He, he is telling from Samadhi, now I direct want to see you. Wow. If I cannot direct see you from my samadhi, then I want to drain you. It's just reverse. Yes. Yes. Three. Samadhi to direct. Yes. I'm not interested in samadhi to see you. I'm interested to see you now. And if I cannot see you, then I want to see you in dreams. And if I cannot see you, I will want to ask Maran. I want to always in thinking of you. you same thing, but you tell it, but opposite. opposite way. Yes, like one day, one day, one devotee asked a question to, to Prabhupada. How many lifetimes to get self-realized? Then Prabhupada was start meditating and say one word, one second. 
Yeah, oh, yeah. This Gurudev saying, I think same thing. Dear greedy, greedy, dear so much eager devotee, I want to know your darshan. Otherwise, I die. Kind of feeling. Gurudev also today, this morning, say, now we cannot wait. Now this is Gurudev want to say. But uh, we are thinking, you know, you know, we can go gradual process. No, we want to be no. now, Abhi. <laughs> this Guru Dev is <coughs> teaching us, and we, we need some greed, we need some mercy. This is only possible, Maharaj, this is only possible from a personal platform. We have to have personal relationship. That means we have to know who we are. We have to have identification with our form, with our staipa. Without personal relationship to Swamini and to Gurudev and Guru Manjari, this will never happen. So everybody must know who am I? What is my identity? We have to have a personal relationship, not from soul to Swamini, but from who I am, from my eternal being. And then this is what I work on every morning that I, I talk to Swamini or I pray to Swamini, not from Tarungovinda Das, but from my separate identity. It, it, it all boils down to a personal relationship. And in this world, there's so much impersonalism. So we have to focus on our spiritual form. This is our personal relationship. This is so important. I feel like that. Devil. Yeah. Yeah. And Baba is saying here, I will read this, what Rasamai read. Actually, that person who is deeply aware of his identity can have such kind of determination. Yeah. Otherwise, like, la otherwise, like Tarun said, it's not possible. Otherwise, that is the whole point. That yeah. is the whole point. Oh, merciful Rade. Baba is saying, Oh merciful Rade. So it means person knows to whom he is addressing his prayer, his heart. Oh merciful yeah. Devi, oh merciful Rade, you are melting from the mercy. Mm. And then determination comes. And it said, I am drowning in an ocean of misery. Who can say this yeah. with full heart? Only person who knows yeah, yeah. and is fixed in his goal. Yeah, bring chair here. No here. He's honest. And you see, you see, yesterday and today morning, I was it came to me, I was thinking that. Baba actually gave me everything, everything he gave to you, Gurudev gave everything to me, Baba gave everything, he gave me my name, he gave me my form, he gave me the process, but I am such a fool and such a rascal, I am not taking full advantage of this, but actually it is good to every morning say and be thankful that your Gurudev, that Baba and Sadhu Maharaj, they gave us everything and it is up to now to us to make the best out of it, because otherwise there is no chance that we will ever realize these things. So we have to be thankful and thoughtful every day that actually everything is already here. We just have to do it and do it nicely. So the mind always wants to go around this. Oh yeah, it can wait, it can wait, it can wait, but it cannot. We should do it as much as possible every day. So I'm this is what I'm telling this guy inside here every morning. That is very important that we have such a extremely, um, such a wonderful gift. And I can only speak for myself. I'm not using it properly. So this is the prayer that we should have this eagerness to use it every day properly. Every day. Yeah. Can so I add that, something? Yeah. Every day. Yeah. Every moment, <laughs> every every time, don't be yeah. not to forget this. Yes. 
And then now confirmation is coming when determination is so strong that devotee wants direct darshan. And Baba is saying, please show yourself just once and thus delight my eyes. Yeah. It's not only eyes, delight my heart, delight all my senses. This is a strong determination of someone who is fixed in his taibab and he knows that his ultimate goal is Shimate Radhika. Yeah. Then he is ready to admit, I am falling in the ocean of material existence. I am drowning yeah. in them. Then he can yeah. be really, really honest. And then from this honesty, from this kind of humility, such a strong prayer is because pe person is aware I don't have anything else. No. Please show me at least just uh, one second. And then I will dream you. I will make a bhajan on you more easier. I want to drown in the ocean of your name, existence, your form, your qualities, especially your lilas, and to serve them. Yes. Yeah. I think it is also very beautiful that Baba is saying we should not only try to see with the eyes, but actually with the heart. So why is yeah. he saying that? Why is he saying with the heart? Because we cannot see Swamini with our eyes. We can only see Swamini with our hearts. What, did, what does that mean? It means that our consciousness, our, in the, the chitta is in the heart. So it, 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 it's depending on how we act. Every day I can practice this. And therefore I love Sadhu Maharaj, our Gurudev, so much because he shows us that not only do we have to love all Vaishnavas and Guru and the, and the divine couple, but we have to love everybody. Everyone we meet, we have to try and take this love to them. This is also what, what I learned from Sadhu Maharaj, that we have to love everybody because otherwise our heart will never be cultivated and we will never see Swamini because our eyes cannot see Swamini. We have to see it with the heart and the heart only can see when we love everyone and starting with ourselves we have to love ourselves and everyone who we are in contact with every day if we cannot do this how can we expect to love swamini so we have to cultivate this heart consciousness gurudev is for me sadhu Maharaj is for me of course my baba always showed this but gurudev in, in the daily dealings sadhu Maharaj is always showing this till that love must be given to everyone. And this is what, what is the most important thing. Otherwise, we cannot, we cannot cultivate this heart. Yeah. Read. The practicing devotee should also have some of this eagerness. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, Swamini, I will not mix with this world. I will become as Swamini wants me to be. Then she will accept me. The arati is over now. Swamini is surrounded by her girlfriend sitting on a jewel-studded sofa. She makes jokes with her girlfriend, but these are not ordinary jokes. It is a very funny conversation. While Srimati is absorbed in such a joking discussion, 
Shyamala Saki comes before her with a new Saki. Seeing her, Srimati asks, Saki Shyamale, come. Who is that girl with you? Shyamala says, this is my friend, Navina Saki. She hasn't met you yet, but she is very eager to meet you. Swamini is enchanted when she sees Navina Saki and stares at her in astonishment, saying, Aha, you are so beautiful. If you are Shyamala's friend, then you are also my friend. What is your name and where do you live? Navina Saki says, My name is Navina. And I've come here with my friend Shyamala to see you. From Shyamala, I have heard about your matchless form and attributes, so I became very eager to meet you. Swamini's heart melts when she hears Navina's nice voice, and she says, Do you know how to sing, dance, and play musical instruments? Navina says, A little bit. Samini takes Navina close to her <laughs> while she exclaims, Aha, how beautiful your face is. How sweet is your smile. And how sweet are your words. Come here, come here. It's just like I have seen you somewhere before. Then, Navina Saki begins to dance and sing. Aha, how wonderful is her dance. How sweetly she sings and how nicely she moves her eyes and hands. The Sakis faint of ecstasy when they see it. Again and again, Swamini says, Bravo, well done. And gives Navina a tight hug. But while she embraces Navina, she feels a familiar shivering over her own body, and that makes her doubt. <clears throat> Who is this? Swamini then pulls the veil from Navina's head and exclaims, Oh Ma, what is this? This is Krishna. Shyamale, you are so naughty. Sham and the Sakis have so much fun then. The Sakis roll against each other out of laughter. What a wonderful fun they have. I think that we should stop a little bit here because I noticed that in this Lila we can see and relish two stages of this Lila. First stage is sweet meeting between Radhika and the new Manjari. Although this Lila is going in another direction, but to the one point, Radhika is not aware that this new Manjari, Navina, new Manjari, is a Krishna. So this meeting, sweet meeting, is so wonderful for meditation and is showing 
how new manjari is approaching to Shimata Radharani. Her own Guru Manjari is taking to her hands and saying, please come, I will introduce to my Swamini you. You cannot do it alone, independently. You are my friend. And then Radhika is meeting. She agreed to accept this Swamini because uh, that Manjari, sorry, because she is introduced with someone who is already Radha Dasi. Wonderful. I was thinking the same thing. Very wonderful. Beautiful. <laughs> and what is going on? Then conversation between Radhika, direct conversation with Radhika and new Manjari is starting. And Radhika's melting heart, melting compassion appears in all her appearance, in all her form. And she is so kind to new Manjari. You know, and what Baba say, uh, yeah, uh, he is saying how Navina, new Manjari, is answering the Radhika's question because she learned the art of conversation, and she is saying, I heard. I heard from Shyamala about your rather matchless form and attributes. I heard. I was drinking with my ears and my heart, like Tarunji said, with my heart. Everything what I was listening from my Guru Manjari, I was drinking. I was drowning in that ocean of his Mahavanis and Mahavanis of others, Acharyas. So this is the way how first time I heard about you. And in that moment, because of their mercy, eagerness appear in my heart to approach you like my ultimate goal, my dear Rade. Also, we can hear, we can see here, that this is a very beautiful example that the whole process, even, even that process where Radhika is welcoming the new Manjari, everything is under Anugatya. Anugatya is so important, this guidance. Nothing is happening without Anugatya, without the shelter of someone who is superior than us. All this Lila that you now so wonderfully uh, explained, Gaurang Gauranga Sundara, Everything, every little step we take is in Anugatya, is in following those who have it already. So this is so beautiful. Thank you. Narutam Das Thakur is saying, Prema Bhakti Chandrika, so many times in so many verses, I want to be in association, rather, of your maidservants in that Ghana, in that association. And I'm waiting their sign how to serve you. So this is wonderful explanation which Baba gave here through through Lila. We can see everything is in Lila. Everything. All art of service is present in Lila. And then Radhika is. Tarunji, he, here she is asking, okay, now what you know? Do you know to sing? Do you know to dance? Yes, little bit. Because my Manjari, Guru Manjari and others, they taught me something and I will give my best. And she's dancing for the pleasure of Swamini. She's dancing. Little girl is dancing. She doesn't know anything. She doesn't know philosophy or 
Vedas or Shastras or verses. She knows to dance. She knows to sing. And this is the best service, actually. Not philosophy, not logic, not arguing. This is not the service. It's mental work. Dancing. And then Sakis and Radhika and Sakis faint of ecstasy. So we can see here how this sweet introduction of new manjari is described here in this lila and how Radhika very warmly, sweetly, compassionately is receiving the new manjari, embracing her. Then, of course, this lila is going suddenly in another direction. But I just wanted to make this point. Radhi, I'm sorry if I made a mistake. Please correct me. Radhi. Radhi. After Xi'an has gone home, Tulasi prepares a bed for Swamini to lie on. Although all kinds of funny discussions are going on, Tulasi does not forget her service. Devotion consists of service. Devotional service is relishable in all three stages. Sadhana Bhakti, Bhava Bhakti, and Prema Bhakti. Compared to that savor, Everything in this world is tasteless, including sense gratification, bhukti, and liberation, mukti. There will be nothing left to want and to get from the material world. I just want to fall at your lotus feet. Stay with them and serve them. The kinkaris are the embodiments of the flavors of devotional service. Sri Krishna is the Supreme Lord himself, but still he wants something from these maid servants. The Lord of the universe stretches his hand out to them. There is nothing as glorious and fortunate as this. Sri Rupa Goswami said, O Queen of Vrindavana, Sri Rade, I pray for your mercy again and again so that even Krishna, the heroic destroyer of the Keshi demon, will make me the object of his flattering prayers. Radhe. So we can see here the superiority of Manjari Bhav. 
Manjari Bhav is more superior even from the Sakhi Bhav. Because Krishna is running after them. He is offering the prayers to Manjaris, little girls, Radhika's maidservants. He is putting himself in position that he depends on them. And that Krishna, Manjaris wants to worship, who is hankering for their own heart, Swamini. So Krishna is, through his own example, he doesn't need anything. But one thing, devotion. He wants to relish devotion of his devotees. And we can see here the supreme, supreme position of supreme devotee. Radha Dasi. Simple Radha Pal Radhika Palya Dasi. That Krishna is hankering for their devotion the most. He is putting himself in subordinate position to them and please help me to meet my Swamini. And then we can come immediately to the point of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. Immediately who understands really who is Goranga and how he was relishing Radha Bhava and also Manjari Bhava. He understands that his appearance is not only to relish Radha Bhava, but also to relish completely the sweetness of Manjari Bhava. And this is the Krishna's ultimate desire. Krishna has also ultimate desire, ultimate goal, to become Radha Sevika, Radha Paliadasi. I'm sorry, I cannot, I couldn't resist to overcome all <laughs> this <laughs> purpose. Radha. Ananda, Ananda, Ananda. Please, Guru Dev. Ananda. Enlighten us. To Save I, your I disciple. So. You give so much rasa. Mm. Yeah. yeah. You are the ocean of rasa, Guru Dev. I'm standing on the shore. I'm trying to put the finger, but... I'm praying to take some drops that. I need the drops, direct drops. Sri <laughs> 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 Krishna. The kinkaris are the embodiment of the flavors of devotional service. Jaiho, Jaiho. Jaiho, Tarun Baba ki Jaiho. Godev, you are, you are the father, you are the source of this Kripa Godev. You are the source. We hang on to your Lord of Feet. And we Baba, are, of course. Are. We are trying to drink the some drop of him. Baba is the soul. Yes. But it's only possible in the association of souls like you, Gurudev. Otherwise, it's not possible. ਪਰ <laughs> 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 Yeah, it's my blessing. Jaldi, ah. Jaldi, ah. Aayega Gujarat. 
हम तो कहीं नहीं जाते हैं बदलावच तुम लोग श्रीवरूपा गोस्वामी सर ओ क्वीन ऑफ वृंदावन श्री राधे I pray for your mercy again and again. Yeah. So that even Krishna that is heroic destroyer of the Kashi demon will make yeah. me the object of his flattering prayers. As long as there is still a whiff of personal desire radhika's service cannot be attained no yeah but yeah this is the mercy is special because if the desire is there our soul so is not there body will not stay and the soul has a body that is my constitutional position and this body is spiritual body heart is radhika so one step to no soul but soul has body to live with the heart art live with the divine soul that soul of but spiritual body is radha bhava here mention the soul 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 the soul has a body and that so body soul is radha up to soul no knowledge can work with krishna but here you have to know the body of the spiritual soul my soul and this body this my sarup heart or soul is radha that has to meditate and live in this consciousness The maid servants of Sri Radha don't even dream of their own purpose purpose yeah. they are the embodiment of the flavor of devotional service yeah and they always immerse swami needs and mohana in that flavor yeah the manjaris always throw radha and mohana in ever new pools of transcendental fun yeah One day the yoga lucky shore sits down in a kunja with their backs against each other they are angry with each other and they both think i will not be the first one to speak they don't want to disgrace themselves by apologizing but at the same time they are suffering because they cannot meet each other suddenly rupa manjari breaks the in face by telling mohan what are you telling me by blinking at me 
I cannot woo Swamini for you. Both think the job is done and they begin to laugh and joke with each other again. How wonderful is this manjari service? She thinks, for your pleasure, we can do anything. The scriptures are calling the beloved deity Adhokshaya, or he who is not perceived with the senses. How can devotion reach perfection then? After all, devotion is defined as service to the Lord with the senses. Here, here we can also see that we are so, <clears throat> so thankful to Baba for this wonderful purpose because only the manjaris can can understand, like when Radhika and Krishna are sitting with the backs to each other, how who, who else will know what is going on in their beautiful minds? The Sakis will not know, the, 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 the friends of Krishna will not know, the parents of Krishna will not know, only the Manjaris and, the, and, and, and those who are so close to Swamini, they will understand what is now the situation. Both are in man, both are angry. So this this is what Mahaprabhu was coming to give. Before Mahaprabhu, we would have never had the chance to read anything like this. Never. It's not possible into the Nikunchas and, uh, and what they were thinking and what they were talking. This was not openly available for anyone. So we are so lucky that we can now close our eyes. We can imagine Radhika and Krishna sitting there back to back. And, and feel and do, and sing about what they are doing and what Rupa Manjari is doing. This was not there. This is Unata Chwala Rasa Swapakti Shriyam. This is never, ever given before. This is the highest gift and this is beautiful. Yeah, oh. Baba ki jai. Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> um, the answer is he is grasped by senses that are steeped or soaked in devotion wow. devotion alone captures him devotion alone reveals him the Lord is only controlled by devotion and devotion alone. It is, I think it is also very important and interesting. Why is it like that? Why is Krishna so much controlled by bhakti and devotion? There is only one answer. Because Swamini, uh, bhakti is only possible because of Swamini. Bhakti is a combination between Ladini Shakti and Samvit Shakti. So why is Krishna so easily controlled by Bhakti only because of Swamini's Kripa? Swamini is the fountain and the origin of Ladini Shakti. So Bhakti comes from her lotus feet. And if we put our head un unto, under her lotus feet, we are sure to, to make this Bhakti appear in our hearts. Hmm. Sorry, I sorry, so. sorry, Rasamai. Sorry that I break. No, no, no. We so love it. Means, so it means increase your senses, spiritual senses. This is the she meaning. Of, this is a meaning. One time I was in Govardhan, and Bhakti Baba Puri Maharaj was there. He becomes so excited. He is 92 years old person. He starts jumping in the chair and only telling this, Go, Bardhan, go, Bardhan. 
Govardhan. And he asked to his sannyasi, can you explain what is the meaning of Govardhan? Then nobody can say this. All city. And he say, go miss senses. And Bardhan means increase. <laughs> Your spiritual <laughs> sense desire has to increase. This is the meaning of Guru. If the material sense desire is increasing, is a false ego. When your spiritual senses are increased, then your, your mercy of Krishna is there. That is Govat. That is to be a Radha Gurudev, therefore Govardhan is at the, therefore Govardhan is very near to Radha Kund, so that they are together. Only Radha can increase our spiritual desire, so therefore they are so close together. <laughs> so Mahaprabhu gave Gunjamala and Govardhan for worshipping to Rajmatas. Mm. Adhokshaya Krishna is to be considered from a distance along the uh, a way shown by the sages through ardent practices of meditation. But he is always visible to the Vraja Gopis. In other words, when the Vraja Gopis see Krishna's sweet form, they fall in love with him. Yeah. And they can attain his sweet association. With this desire, they wander around on the banks of the Yamuna on the pretext of getting water for their households. That is the power of loyal devotional service. There is no comparison to the loyalty of Radhika's maid servant. Jao. The foot service of Radha Rani is everything to them. How can I show my face to Swamini while being absorbed? in such strong bodily consciousness. Yeah. I am ashamed to offer my contaminated life to her. I am serving, and if my sevia is happy, I will feel successful. Am I doing any bhajan if I don't smell her bodily fragrance, see her bodily luster, or taste her food remnants even slightly? Tulasi now comes up to Swamini. It is time for Swamini to take a little rest, she thinks. Mm -hmm. 
Although the Sakis are oblivious in their intimate discussions with Swamini, Tulasi never forgets her service. She made a bed as white as the foam of milk for Swamini to lie on. Going up to Swamini, she says, Hey, Shyamaju, so much time has passed now. Come and take a little rest. Let's go. How much love this maid servant has. The Sakis admit, we don't love Radhika as much as Tulasi does. We have completely forgotten. Go, Saki. It is time for you to rest a little bit. Go. Tulasi takes Swamini by the hand, takes her to the bed and makes her lie down on it. A blue oil lamp burns there to soothe Swamini's eyes with the remembrance of her lover. Swamini is very happy to lie down on the bed prepared for her by Tulasi. The text mentions the word Keli Talpa or bed for love play. But such a bed is only there in the Kunja, isn't it? How can there be such a play bed in Srimati's in-law's house? Because she sees Mohana coming to her in her dreams. This is called Svapna Vilas or love play in a dream. The verse mentions Abhusha Yi Svapanena. You adorn this bed by dreaming on it, not by sleeping on it. Swamini is enchanted by dreaming of Mohana's form that is like an ocean of rasa. His face that shines like the moon and his neck that is adorned by a garland of jasmine flowers. How wonderfully she moves in her sleep while she dreams of enjoying with Krishna. How sweetly she moves her feet and how sweet is the smile on her face. how much she speaks in her dream. Mm -hmm. Mohana 
cannot leave Swamini under any circumstance, being attracted to her love for him. Later at night, when they meet in Vrindavana, he asks Swamini, did you dream of me this evening? I also dreamt of you. Blessed is our Swamini. Blessed is our Mohana. Tulasi sees that Swamini decorates her bed by stretching herself out on it. It is as if her sweetness drifts from the bed and inundates Tulasi with a stream of rasa. Suddenly, the vision ends and Shiragunata falls on the bank of Radhakund and anxiously prays. When you are absorbed in a joking conversation with Lalita and your other girlfriend, I will make a play bed for you with my own hands, an enchanting bed of flowers. When you lie down on it, you see Mohana in your dream and enjoy with your beloved. I will fill up my eyes with the sweetness of your body that decorates this play bed. Thus ends the verse 54. Thank you so much. Masamai, Gurudev and all the devotees, Tandavat Panam. Right. One must see how to dream natural in life. He teaching that. How to see. <laughs> Direct Vitya Saru. Because you can see with the senses, feel with the senses, without increasing the spiritual senses. Material senses are powerful, they are not powerful. And how to be always live in the smell. All he gives example. Again and again we have to practice. We are so fortunate. It never happened before in any place. How he helping us. How to do it. This is his greatness and mercy. Showing the way, not only giving, he's showing how to do this. Yeah. So, yeah. 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 Yeah.